So I know it's been a while since we've talked, or since you've seen me on video. I want to talk about what's been going on. So a couple of weeks ago, I was diagnosed with COVID and had to stay home for a week because they wanted to make sure that I was safe and that I wasn't going to get anyone else at work sick. And I understand that. So I stayed home for a week. And then I went in this last Monday to go back to work. And after lunch, they pulled me out or they pulled me aside and had me um, go to the office for a work review or uh, basically a performance review, performance assessment. And I thought, okay, this can go one of two ways. One, they want to just make sure that I'm okay after having COVID and, and considering I, I'm here because I'm disabled. Or they're going to tell me that I'm pretty much fired. Well, you can see which one happened because either the title or the thumbnail basically had the words, I was let go from my job. So, fast forward to today. Um, this last week was the last week of my work. I'll get my last check next week because I didn't get paid this week since I hadn't worked the previous. But I'm... I'm, I'm I won't say I'm d disappointed, but I am kind of disappointed about the fact that this ended. But I'm also happy because this is an opportunity. Because I realize, and I have come to realize that while I was working at the place I was working at, I was not happy. And I was actually starting to become very depressed and very angry having to go in there every day. Between the toxic work environment with one of our supervisors basically pushing us past our limits just because he wanted to make more money, and then one of the other supervisors basically being a snotty little piece of work and saying, and her basically telling one co-worker at one point, don't go in to get tested, just come into work and wear a mask. Because if you get tested then we have to take you off of work. And we don't have enough money to do that, is basically what she was implying. So, the fact that they, they would prioritize money versus safety really rubbed me the wrong way, and that was actually the last week I was there, before I got COVID. That happened. And then, I, I don't know, there are just a lot of different things that I really didn't like about that place. So, at the end of the day, I view it as a blessing that I was let go because this is a chance for a new opportunity and a new start. That being said, what I'm doing moving forward is threefold. One, I am going to be getting the game out by the end of next month, if not um, in the next couple of days because, uh, well, probably next month because the 31st is literally two days from now. But by the end of next month, the game will be released and will be completed, hopefully, because... While I've been taking the time after work to work on it, now that I have the full day to actually work on it, it will be better. Um, I will be going back to helping out. I'm volunteering at my church, so I won't be completely idle every day, but I won't be hard-pressed to find time to do anything but work. So, there is that. Second of all, I'm going to be taking online courses to start building skills that will make me employable in the future because, let's be honest, I can't be a stay-at-home uh, piece of schmuck for the rest of my life because, honestly, Social Security ain't going to last that long. <laughs> it's not. So I'm going to do what I can to actually earn, earn a living by my own skill set sometime between now and the end of this year. I hope to have that really started, if not completely established. Thirdly, I'm starting a few different programs. I'm going to be starting Amazon Mechanical Turk, which pays you to do odd jobs that are basically like, take a survey here, um, and I'll get an image and see and tell me what's in it here, stuff like that. Basically, stuff you can't get a, cam a computer to do. And it, since it's through Amazon, I know it's legit. I'm also going to be starting up the Amazon affiliate links again. I actually had to create a brand new Amazon account because my old one evidently got shut down for inactivity. 
<laughs> go figure. But <laughs> so so basically that that um whole thing happened. Um, I'm going to also be doing a few other things. I'm going to be releasing more music. You may have seen that track a couple of days ago that I posted. I'm going to be making more music like that here in the future. I'm hoping to start using a site called Beat Stars to start selling them for um, ro royalty-free tracks on YouTube videos and stuff. Just, you know, things people can use that are good that I, that I can get a kickback from. You know, stuff like that. So either way, I'm just hoping to get some experience in doing that stuff and also get some stuff started to where hopefully in the next 90 to 180 days I can get to the point. So next three to six months I can have a decent side income besides Social Security coming in and maybe even a main income where Social Security is like, eh, well, you don't need it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't because I got, I got, I got things covered. Also going to be looking at housing options, but that'll be probably next year. But good to start looking now because you never know what's going to happen next. So it's always good to have an exit strategy for now. Anyway, I know it's late. I uh, didn't get to filming this until now because let's be honest, I've been working on so many different things and just... Also trying to rearrange my room. You'll see that I got a few things that are haphazard back there. I'm going to try and tidy it up and neaten it up a bit in here. But I'm also just going to try and really work on getting things uh, set up to where this can be my full-time uh, work desk. Because honestly, between Amazon and a few other things, I'm going to have my time cut out where I've got plenty of options to work so hopefully i can actually do the work but that's my uh that that's my plan just continue grinding towards a uh, better better future and a better option for myself and then just being thankful for um the opportunities that were lost but also the opportunities that were gained because honestly i could have looked at this as a why me moment but instead i'm like a oh, well thanks god i appreciate the fact that you're giving me a fresh start because let's be honest if you hate your job leave when your spirit leaves don't let your body fester while your spirit's already left your job that's uh something dave ramsey said in one of his videos so and i'll actually make another video about this in the future and release it but I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing. Also going to be streaming again. Uh, probably going to stream not tomorrow, but Monday night. I'm going to try and have some sort of a actual schedule hammered out by, well, no. Mondays are group nights. I'll, I'll probably stream Monday afternoon. In fact, I could stream Monday morning if I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys again soon. I'm rambling. I need to get off of off the camera. I'll see you guys again soon. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. And uh I will I'll I'll see you again soon. Thanks for thanks for being here.